Okay, so me and Steve are going to go through some of our hockey jerseys. Well, actually, they're all from the same team, but you'll see that in a second. So first, these are all Premier, Reebok Premier jerseys, the ones that are like 150. Um, this is actually, see, this one's yours. Yeah, my name, customized, the number 12 there. There's a bad job on the numbers, though, they're kind of flimsy. Yeah, these are based off the Winter Classics, and they were our third jerseys for the past two years, so. Let's see, uh, custom. Okay. Next, I have, this is the white, this is the Premier, uh, Jonathan Taves. That one is from NHL.com. This one's from uh, Clark Street Sports, Chicago store, so. This is not double, um, double, layer. double layer, thank you, on the C, but whatever. Tomahawks, number 19. Okay, Indian Head, they do a pretty nice job on the premieres. I mean, it is stitched, but not like the authentics. And then, oh, sorry. Then here we have Taves, 19. These are all before, these are the Vector logo, because this year they just changed them. Next, another premiere. This is a red one. Um, this is Marty Havlat, who's gone. Yes. Sorry about that. Uh, 24. Some people ask me if it's Probert sometimes when they don't see the name. But Nick Boynton wore 24 after him for a while. <laughs> he was pretty bad. Um, this one's a little ratty. This is one of my favorite players. He's a little bit old. He's gone, but... Good jersey. It's pretty much the same thing as the white, just in red. No C. Next, this is another one of my jerseys. Um, Premier uh, Patrick Sharp. And it has the A, which is double layered from NHL.com. And the uh, Stanley Cup Finals patch. Not the championship patch, because this is what they actually wore during the finals. So, very nice. Indian head, same thing. And then the back. Sharp. Number 10. I like Sharpie. Good jersey. Vector. They have a Reebok Vector on the uh, sleeve also. So, okay. And then, last Premier jersey. This is Steve's again. Uh, same jersey except his is Duncan Keith. Show, show the, the, the shitty job on the patch. Yeah, for some reason, NHL.com like, screwed up his patch, so it's like peeling off, if you can see there. Ridiculous. On the one side, and kind of up the top. But, uh, same still, jersey. Still good, though. And the thing about these premieres, though, I don't like is there's no stitching at all. Like, this is stitched on this patch, but it's just kind of like a patch. Flimsy. Yeah, like the Indian head has actually thread in the, in the feathers and everywhere else. But, it's whatever. Back, Keith, number two. Good jersey. Okay, next we have a couple CCM, older school, uh, old school. These are the, yeah, these are not form-fitting, like the... Edge style jerseys. These are kind of the 90s look. Uh, poofier. There's no name on this. Just a white one. Used to be their home jersey. Now it's technically this is their way, although inaccurate for now. Uh, no uh, NHL logo on the collar. So pretty cool. Back. No name. CCM. Old school NHL puck logo, which is really cool. Yeah, the puck. And then the next jersey is the same one, but in black. Their old third jersey, which is like my favorite. And this is my first jersey, actually. 90s. It's like a 97 or 98. Patch. Oh, yeah. And then this is the same thing as the white. The shoulder patch is cool because it's actually thread, which I don't like. Um, I'll show you the white one, actually. I don't like on the edge on the Premier jerseys. This is the white one. Looks really good. All these jerseys are real, by the way. Like, I mean, not authentic, but, like, they're licensed NHL. They're not the fake Chinese knockoffs. Last jersey... This is my baby. <laughs> Authentic. Um, this is the old third jersey, like I said, it was my favorite. And this is the edge version. Okay, so Chain stitching throughout the entire jersey on the crest and shoulders. Only sweater to do so in the league. Yeah, you can see that's really cool and different from the uh, from the, uh, the premier jerseys. rather. This is the edge style, which is really cool because they only had these for a year and then they switched to those other black jerseys, which I don't like as much, but they're gone, so... Hopefully we'll get these back. Um, patch there. It looks a little bit thin, but you can see it's kind of it's double layer black. Um, and then in here we have the fight strap. Again, not a Chinese knockoff. I bought this from the United Center, and I still have the tags on it because 
I'm planning on sending it in. There's no name on it now, but I'm going to have Triple Threat Sports do a name and number. I'm thinking Dave Boland, one of my favorites. And another thing that's cool about the Edge jerseys is they have these baseball cuts. So they kind of go up and down, and actually you can kind of see it better in these rather than just the whole straight 90s style. So, yeah, Vector here. Nothing on the sleeves. It's the authentic style, what they wear in the ice. And then you can see the pa uh, strap. Stripes, different material. It's actually very cool. So, yeah, that's my authentic. And that's our hockey jersey collection as of now. Hopefully, we'll be getting some USA jerseys soon. Maybe some more Hawks. Just got to get the money. Because buying Hawks tickets is a bitch, and we're already three games in. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Hopefully, the Hawks will beat Phoenix tonight. They're at Phoenix, so... Back here, it's a 9 o'clock start. Kind of sucks. Yeah. But, uh, alright, later.